Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how to work with bold desk activities. I'll show you how to add, create, and manage custom activities. I'll also show you how to link a ticket or contact to an activity and unlink them. Finally, I'll show you how to manage activity comments and share activity links with users. Consider a case where the resolution of a single ticket requires the collaboration of various teams or departments. To achieve this, you can add separate activities to the ticket and assign them to different agents. This aids in the delegation of tasks to respective team members. In Boldesk, the Activities module allows you to create tasks, calls, meetings, and custom activities which can either be standalone or linked to a ticket or a contact. It is only available in enterprise or business plans. First, let's see how to add custom activity types. Sign in to your Bold Desk account as an administrator. Then, navigate to the admin module and open the fields and forms section. On the activity fields, open the type field. Then, enter your custom activities in the drop down section and click Add. A total of up to 10 types can be added. Now, Let's see how to create an activity. There are two ways that an agent can use to create an activity. First, on the Agent Portal's global page, click the Create option and select Activity. Next, on the Ticket Details page under the Activities tab, click the Create Activity option. The ticket where the activity was initiated and its requester will be linked to the activity. By default, Task will be selected and you can choose a different activity type from the drop-down list. Let's see how to create a task. Select task and enter its subject and description. Then, set the assignee and due date. You can also link a ticket and a contact to the task, but this can be skipped. By default, the status and priority of the task will be set to open and normal respectively, and you can change them based on your need. Finally, click the Create button to add the task. Next, are the call and meeting activity types that help log call and meeting minutes to provide future context to your teams. You can create a call or meeting activity in the same way as creating a task, but additional fields have been included to help collect more details. They are, collaborators, start date, and end date to determine the call or meeting duration. And time zone. Next, let's see how to track and view activities. All the created activities for a specific ticket will be listed in the Activities tab on the Ticket Details page. Also, activities can be tracked globally in the Activities module. Here, you can filter the activities by type. The forward activity type is created when a ticket is forwarded to any agent, customer, or third-party users. To learn about forwarding tickets in Bold Desk, follow the link in the card above and the description below. With the Advanced Filter option, you can filter activities and save them as views. The Sorting option allows you to sort and list activities in ascending or descending order using the sorting options provided. Next, let me show you how to manage activities. The Activities List page has options to preview, copy links, and delete by clicking the More options. Use the Preview option or click on the Activity ID to open the Activity Details page. Here, you can edit the subject, description, and other details by clicking on the respective field. There are other options like delete, add watchers, and add comments. Next, let's move on to how to link tickets or contacts to an activity. When creating an activity, you can directly link a ticket or contact to it. If this was skipped, you can link them to the activity's details page. Open an activity which you want to link the ticket or contact. On the right sidebar under the Linked Items section, select the Link User or Link Ticket option. In the dialog box that appears, search and select the item you want to associate with the activity. Then, click the Link option. You can also find the linked activity on the Contact Profile page under the Activities tab. You can create an activity using the Create Activity option. To unlink a ticket or a contact from an activity, go to the Activities Details page. The linked ticket or contact information appears in the linked items section on the right sidebar. Select the unlink option on the item. Then, click on link on the dialog box to remove the item from the activity. Next, let me show you how to add and delete an activity comment. On the activity details page, click the comments option or add comments section and provide your comment. 
You can also attach files using the browse option and mention agents using it mention support. Then, click the update button. The added comment will be logged and listed in the activity details page under the comments tab. To delete any comment, click more options next to the comment to be deleted. Then, select the delete option. Finally, to copy and share an activity link with a user, open an activity and click the copy link icon on the activity details page. The link will be copied, and you can share it with any user. Let me summarize. In this video, I covered adding custom activity types in Bold Desk. I also covered how to create and manage an activity, link and unlink tickets or contacts, and add and delete activity comments. Finally, I covered how to copy and share an activity link with a user. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.